Hello, good evening to everybody. And it's been a very, very long day time that I didn't upload a single video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to speak regarding speaking role by OET. I'll make it, I'll give a basic idea and I will do a dedicated video going through the official OET website and I'm doing from two days doing research. So I need to give information which is clear and genuine which is reliable to you. So guys, it is taking time. In speaking role play, you are going to do two role plays. So if you do first role play, very bad, not so really bad, but you do it bad and you are not that much happy with your role, first role play. So it's your luck. We are going to do two role plays. So if you do it, bad in the first role play you can make it manage in the second role play the oet assessors they are going to judge both of your role plays so do it well uh, when you go to the oet role plays initially they will do some warm-up questions they will ask you to introduce yourself why did you choose nursing what is who is your role model etc etc to understand your accent and your pronunciation Oh my gosh, so many spiders. Okay, let's get back. It's going dark there. Okay, then they will give you the role play cards. Two minutes to prepare for the OET role play. So at that time, they will give you the role play card. There's a pencil with you. So you can make use of that time. You can make notes on the role play card. They're not going to judge you on that. You can do whatever with your role play card. Make a notes and uh, when the two minutes finish, they will tell you the time has started. So if they didn't start anything, you need to start by yourself by saying, hello, good morning. My name is uh, Darshan. I'm one of the registered nurses working in this department. How can I help you? So before asking, how can I help you? You can introduce yourself and you can ask the opposite person. How can I address you? If the patient is coming to you first time. Ask the patient's name then. First thing you should greet and you should introduce yourself and you should ask the opposite person how you can address him. Then after that, you begin with your role play card, see the role play card. If they ask, introduce yourself or greet, inquire what's bothering the patient. Then the patient will start saying their complaints Then make a list of that. Then once the patient tell their complaint, you should acknowledge that, that you listen to the patient very clearly. If they tell you few many complaints at a time, after they complete their lines, you should repeat that. Okay, you are the complaint of your headache since uh, from the last six months, and you work as a uh, laborer in the construction construction area. Am I right? Is all the information correct? So. It feels that you are listening to the patient and understanding their perspective. And then you can gather the information from the patient. Try not to complete a role play card, whatever the task is there. You should try to gather the information and give the information to the patient. And once you give the information, ask the patient to repeat it back. Sorry, not repeat it back because it repeat it. Repeat it back is same. So, so if you ask the patient to repeat it, so the patient will say whatever you told. So the OIT assessor who is going to judge your OIT role play, they will feel like, okay, this nurse knows what he's doing and what information is giving and understanding whether the patient got all the information correct or not. So it will give you extra points there and your success rate in passing OIT speaking is very high and then if you ask few questions to the patient like uh, in the OT task role play if they are having so many questions at a time you should not ask all the questions at a time you should ask one by one so it shows that you are not making the patient confused with so many questions you are not overwhelming, overwhelming, overwhelming him I don't know, after coming to UK, what happened to my tongue? Sometimes it's really struggle. Maybe due to the weather, 
I don't know what's the matter. Okay, leave that matter aside. And then once you ask like two, three questions and if the patient answers to you or the client, appreciate the patient for answering the first, all your questions. You can say, thank you for answering my questions. And uh, yeah. And uh, if your role play cards has like specific roles, you need to ask first task like this. And the second task, if you got two, three questions back to back, in the beginning, you can say like, okay, Mr. David, before proceeding further, I would like to get more details regarding you. So I will get a detailed picture of your condition to inform to the doctors or understand your condition and bring you the best uh, solutions to your problem. Is that okay for you? Then obviously the client or a patient will say yes. And then you can say like to, to begin with, then you ask your next first role play. And then you can ask in addition to that, then ask your uh, second role play task question. If you're having last question, ask the question, then thanks the patient for answering your question. And one more thing, if you didn't complete your role play task within five minutes allotted time, there is nothing to worry. They are not going to judge on the time. They are going to judge whether you are having the eligibility or the ability to speak with the patient understand their perspectives and gather the correct information and give the correct information to the patient that's what they are mainly concerned so if you didn't complete a last task in the role play so don't worry that is least bother try to complete all the task with a perfect meaning that's all it matters so once you complete your role play card if they tell you to stop, stop it. That's it. Okay, I'll make a dedicated video on this going through the official website, as I said earlier. So tune in to the channel and watch, wait for the next video. Bye, guys.